Well, we're sitting in front of a Greenville landmark now, Jean's Restaurant. When we were remodeling our house, I don't know what we would have done without Jean's. The children would say, Mom, we're hungry. And I'd look at my watch, it'd be 8.30, and I'd say, well, let's head over to Jean's. So we'd walk across, and it was a wonderful place to meet the neighbors because they were all there. They'd been sitting there since 5.30 or 6 o'clock having what we called a long glass of tea and just discussing things that were going on in the neighborhood, in the city, and in the world at large. And now we're going to hear from some of those neighbors. In fact, some of them lived in the neighborhood, moved away, and missed it so much they said, we want to move back to Hampton Pinckney. In 1934, something like that, we came to Greenville, and uh, we first came uh, Dr. Parks was, came here to practice with Dr. Robert A. Brown, and when we got here, this uh, 28 Pinckney was the only apartments in Greenville, no other apartments to be found. So we moved here, and they practiced together, and from then we had both of the children, Christ Church School, which is right around the corner. It was now then, Yeah, mm -hmm. right around the corner at Christ Church. You know where it is now? It's way out someplace and next door was the merits and we lived here for years till we bought on part of Paris Mountain and we lived up there for a while and when Dr. Parks passed away I came back home and that's 28 Pinckney Street the best place in Greenville to live mm -hmm. and it's beautiful and the worst best people you've ever seen. It's been a great great place to live. The, the church was Daddy T and Mother T went to that church, and and uh, and the whole community went to that it was a Baptist church. Uh, yeah, but some of the changes, we have completely new neighbors, and new church too. If the church is gone, we have new people. New people. And we have attorneys and and uh, doctors and and beautiful educated people now living in our area. And but it, it, it's a beautiful place to live now. Wonderful people. All the homes have been renovated, right? Every one of them. Well, the one right the little white one next door had a porch on it. I remember it was a little lace porch, and it went all the way around it. And it came back, and it came so close to this one, I laid it and sat there. And we could talk to each other back and forth on the porch and hand each other something. I think she offered that house to me for $3,000 one time, and I didn't have a penny. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we have a wonderful neighborhood now. And you can't leave it. We left it and then we come back. See, that's always, you know, that. Oh, home and pigeons. We go and we leave it and then we come back. We raised our first children there and flew up for a while and played golf for 45 years at all over at Furman, all over the state. And then when I got, when, when he passed, when my husband passed away, I came home right back to 28 Pinckney where I left. We, we're pretty much up right uptown, where we can walk right into town we want to, from down to the, all the way down to the bridge. And a beautiful neighborhood beautiful all the way. Beautiful neighborhood all the way. Downtown. All the way to town and back. Mm -hmm. It's just like a holiday when you go in. Well, I lived here <laughs> over a period of in this house for 13 years. I had an apartment with Billy and Bobby, and it was a nice place to call home. And the neighborhood was very interesting. It was quite a interesting array of occupants in the houses. We had a doctor that lived down or across the street, and there was an el elderly gentleman who we all referred to as Pistol Pete, who was, he collected guns, but he was rather much a recluse, and uh, he stayed pretty much to himself, but he was very friendly when you would meet up with him. But I think in the early 70s, they declared this area a historic area, and from that time on, they, the neighborhood improved tremendously because people bought and, and, and renovated and improved the property and it turned out to be one of the most beautiful streets in Greenville, I think. It was so interesting, and I, I have been particularly pleased to see it, it come back and see all the single-family homes 
and the way they have been restored, and I, I can't think of a more beautiful neighborhood now. But it was always been an interesting place to live. It was a very convenient place, and it was especially convenient to Jean's Restaurant, which is right around the corner. And a lot of the people on this street then would frequent Jean's Restaurant when they opened in 1957. So that's been like 52 years ago. Um, and a lot of the people then would frequent, particularly for breakfast, on, before they went to work, and and it still is a popular eating place for the people of Hampton Pinckney area. A lot of us feel like we grew up at, at Jean's restaurant. And Pinckney also has several churches in the area. One of them is Central Baptist Church right down the street. Uh, it's been turned into the Radius Church and also the Frazee Dream Center for under-resourced youths in the city. And then we have Mattoon Church which is over on Hampton Avenue and it's about to undergo a renovation. And then there's the old ARP Church, Associate Reformed Presbyterian. Now that's a denomination near and dear to me because I think I'm a ninth generation ARP, but that church has been turned into condominiums and there are a lot of people that are moving to Greenville and finding that they really like the idea of living in the Hampton Pinckney area but not having to keep up the yards or have all the maintenance. So we're going to talk to Bill McShay who's moved down here and is loving the Hampton Pinckney district. My wife and I moved to Greenville in April of 2009. Uh, this was after uh, looking at many other towns such as uh, Asheville and Charlotte and Hendersonville. Uh, but we moved to Greenville uh, for several reasons. Uh, we have uh, friends in the area who moved here from New Jersey and uh, uh, found it uh, very much to their liking. Uh, also, the recreational opportunities uh, we felt were rather spectacular for golf and for fishing. And uh, so we moved to this uh, uh, building, which is a 90-year-old church uh, that uh, was uh, built in 1919 uh, as the Associate Reformed Presbyterian Church. Uh, the church has changed hands uh, several times since then, uh, and uh, a developer has uh, created uh, seven uh, lovely condominium uh, apartments uh, from this church. Uh, and we chose this neighborhood because the uh, uh, buildings are all uh, unique and uh, beautiful and beautifully landscaped. And uh, it's uh, only a few blocks from the center of downtown Greenville, which uh, we very much enjoy. Uh, we walk to the farmer's market every Saturday morning for our breakfast uh, and uh, have an opportunity to walk our, our dog, Rose. Uh, and so uh, we're very pleased to be a part of the Hampton Pinckney uh, Historical District. it up then. I'm Linda Price and I want to thank you for joining us today as we tour at a place that I absolutely love, the Hampton Pinckney Historic District. It's a great place to come home to. Bye bye. What they had then was a, you pay for a, get a quarter and put the, In the stove. into the stove. That was their go. Pay for, for your electricity. Pay you for your electricity or gas, whichever oh, yeah, that was. Right. So uh, that's as far back as we went. And every day, she sometimes once a while, they'd run on a change, 
and enough quarters so we'd go save our quarters. Come so we'd come over. Come here and get our quarters to finish our dinner. Yeah, I thought it was the sweetest thing that ever happened over there. <laughs>